I have your book, The Secrets of Greek Mysticism, and I really, really love it. I just love how the things you said about the Greek gods being expressions of the divine love and how the beautiful cosmic forces of the universe. Finally, there is a book that talks about what the Greeks really thought and felt regarding their deities. I really, really like how your book provided me with more of the heart of it, because that's what I want to. I want to understand more how these powers were first worshipped and celebrated and how they first made people's lives better. So I can try to connect with them more and more and more in a way that feels more natural to them, makes them feel more appreciated here in my home. It was really meaningful to me to have you talking about the mythology from a metaphysical, a practical, and a philosophical perspective. It's a beautiful, beautiful work. I think it suits the beginner practitioners, people who maybe are for the first time ever hearing the names of the deities that you're presenting, you know, people who for the first time ever are considering that these powers are much more than the cartoons that are out there in the media. It's didactic enough that these people feel could feel confident in the work, you know, and like follow the rituals you provided and build a practice that is respectful, that pays homage to the culture, to the Greek culture, to your ancestors. But also it provides in-depth information for people like me who have had a relationship for years with Aphrodite and I've been searching for more about her or at least I was searching for other people who would tell me that my feelings regarding her that the things she allowed me to understand about her that the way that I'm perceiving her it's real you were not afraid of say what you had to say because you say things as they are and if you are politically aware enough, you get the hints, but you don't make it too uncomfortable that you're going to exclude some people from the conversation. And I think that that's important because at the end of the day, when we talk about our roots, spiritually, energetically, we want to invite other people to the table to talk about that. You are not trying to convert anyone. You are not promising an initiation. You're not promising anything. You are offering a path for philosophical thinking, for study, for magic, for spiritual autonomy. That's what I love. That is a religion, and I get the feeling that you are part of the religion, probably, and that's amazing. But you live that religion in your everyday life as a spiritual path. And you are not trying to convert anyone to the religion, but you're like, guys, that is a path, a spiritual path here. There are friendships to be made with some fantastic spiritual beings that are things to improve your life and is accessible. And that's why I love your book. <laughs> I love this. I'm just like going around in circles to say that I love your book.